Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shadowcat, as the channel name suggests, and today we're watching Community. <laughs> Jupiter is unfortunately not staying, so say goodbye. <laughs> She's a bit of a sleepy girl right now, so I'm gonna go put her on the couch and we will continue this video. <laughs> so this is my first recording session of 2024. It's been a couple of weeks now since I watched an episode of Community, and I'm so, so, so excited to get back into it with you guys. Obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be, I think, towards the end of January, but if you're watching it on Patreon, I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday season. As you guys know, I took a little bit of a break from recording and uploading uh, over the holidays, which was really nice. I have been super looking forward to getting back into the show with you guys, getting back to our Community Mondays, so... I am excited to be back. I hope you guys are excited to have me back. Obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, you will have already seen two other videos before this one um, in 2024. So, so to you guys, this is probably just another Monday. But for me, um, I'm I'm just I'm just happy to be back, and I hope we have a fun 2024 together. So yeah, I think that I've rambled enough. I just want to get into the episodes. So without further ado, let's get into it. Didn't they say 304? No, 303. I wrote it down twice. Troy and Abbott's new apartment. Hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's funny. Was that like a, a joke about this episode being 304? We read a book on how to be the perfect party host. Rule number one, dress to impress. Rule number two, avoid Check. touchy topics like the Negro problem. <laughs> the book was written in the 40s. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to need you to elaborate on that one. Time flies when I'm baking. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, the door downstairs was propped open with this. I made pizza. But we ordered real pizza. Well, there's nothing more real than homemade. You oh, did have some of the ingredients, so I used that pizza ketchup doesn't and look cream great. cheese. Ew, Shirley. We ordered real pizza. <laughs> No, I, no, I'm sorry. There's absolutely 0% of a chance I'm eating your ketchup pizza. Serbian rum. So strong, it is banned there. Banned in Serbia, Jeff. Yeah, well, you enjoy. I have to leave early. Oh? Yeah, oh, where's sorry. Going? I've got an invite to the opening of a new club. Look at this place. This place was designed for me. It was. I made that in Photoshop and mailed it to you a month ago so that you'd keep tonight open on your calendar. <laughs> oh my god, Abed. He is miles ahead of the rest of us. One word, two <laughs> syllables. Don't say charades. Yahtzee! Yahtzee. Is charades off the table? <laughs> oh my god. It's been so freaking long. <laughs> we can't buzz him up. Someone has to Someone go down. Has to go down. Mm. I mean, it has to be one of the hosts. Your number comes up. You can't make you a go. guess. Just so you know, down. Jeff, you were not creating six different timelines. Of course I am, Abed. Oh. Two. One, two. Annie. Okay, fine. I guess I'm going down. Interesting. So are we gonna like cycle through different timelines in this episode? pregnancy test look like okay so this is definitely a gun whoa yeah how could you even mistake it that's not a gun that's a girl's pea shooter i mean doesn't annie live in sort of a seedy building jeff what are we gonna do about this i'm gonna get a drink oh my god i'm just noticing shirley's apron <laughs> smells weird I beg your pardon? <laughs> it smells weird. What did you do? Abed, you don't ask someone a question like that. It's not dignified. Pizza! Pizza, pizza, go in tummy. Me so hungry, me so... What, what, what is happening with Britta? <laughs> I wonder what happened uh, in those other timelines. Abed, no, there are no pizza. other timelines. Four. One, two, three, four. Surely. Okay. Just don't let my pies burn. <laughs> I feel like those pies are burning. 
Now, I, I don't like being the bad guy any more than anybody Rise. else. No. <laughs> uh, is there a timeline where she gets it correct? It's gonna be better for her in the long run. <laughs> you know who got it in the long run? Eartha Kitt when I nailed her in the airplane bathroom. Oh, <laughs> really? What? It came up organically. Here. Oh, did it? Thanks, Phoenix. Whoa! When Troy and I were living together, I had it on display in the hall. Don't love it. You know, outside his bedroom. Jeff, what are you gonna do about this? I'm gonna get a drink. Oh! Oh my god, are you okay? I hope in every single time when he hits his head, it sparks joy. Pizza, pizza, in my tummy. Seriously, pizza, what is happening with this pizza, <laughs> Did walk Britta is doing? Oh no! Aww. Seriously? Shirley, it doesn't <laughs> matter. We weren't gonna eat them. Excuse me for being the only married woman in a group full of horny toads who sit around all night just making googly eyes at each other. Googly eyes? eyes? <laughs> Surely it's okay. Nobody makes googly eyes at me either. We're the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shirley. Yeah, Shirley didn't deserve that. <laughs> Just so you know, Jeff, you were not creating six different timelines. Of course I am, my <laughs> bad. Oh, this is a fun episode so far. I feel like this is a good episode to get me back into community. Speak of is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? Let's go, I'm Britta. I'm gonna check on my pies. Ah, no. Ah, I believed in you this time. I believed in her. I bet that cost you a few allowances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Troy. Now we've done it. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I was uh, smoking a cigarette. I know what you were doing. I'm gonna get a drink. Oh. oh my god, are you okay? Thank you, universe. Oh no, what happened? Oh my god, did they have like moves. a vending Does machine? Clean it with Whoa. Thanks. Dr. Shirley says mini pies are the best medicine. Then I'd like to see her. Okay, how bad could these pies be? You got your own place, you've got a future, you've got a bowl full of olives next to the toilet. Oh, that's that's a bit horrifying. He keeps his toiletries in a safe under the sink. Yeah. His whole personality like is based around guarding himself. You don't have to be like that to be a man. Man, pizza guys are getting worse and worse looking. That's all the good ones were in porn. I wonder what happened in all those other timelines. Who, Who cares? cares? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, Britta. Great. You know it's great. Air travel. I once had sex with Eartha Kitt. Okay, I'm going to check on my pies. <laughs> hey. Right. You so guys know Britta to get all the music this time. Uh, oh. oh my god. We love that. Let me look at it in the bathroom. Do I need to refill the toilet olives? We're good. I checked. What is going to happen in this washroom? They were having a flirty moment in the kitchen and now they're behind closed doors, so. Ovid. Hey guys, this is Toby, our pizza delivery guy, and I know this is gonna sound nuts, but we're Britta. in love and we're getting Britta. married. Okay, officially the worst timeline. Simply for that beard. Are we ever actually gonna play Yahtzee in this episode? You know who I used to call Miss Anything? Eartha Kitt. Oh. <laughs> he came here today determined to tell this ah, story. No. <laughs> Bathroom? Yeah, over here. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. 
Sério? Mima! I totally forgot about this fucking meme. I was not expecting it at all. <laughs> oh my god, that one was so good. You are now creating six different timelines. Of course I am, Abed. <laughs> oh, this is a good episode. I'm having a lot of fun. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Abed, I'm on it. You know who else was on it? And you know what it is. I banged Earth a kid. <laughs> no. Okay, Britta. I think that the only one who has to go now is Jeff. I hope that she gets it right in Jeff's timeline. What smells amazing? Oh, Rose. someone wants pie! Rose. You need a good nurse. <laughs> hey, while we're alone, I just want to say thanks for letting me live with you. Sometimes I feel Aww. like making desserts is the only thing I'm good for in the group. But no, it's not true, Shirley. I was not supposed to eat your stuff. We all made an agreement. Crap. I was not supposed to say that out loud. Crap. Okay, cards on the table. I'm really high right now. <laughs> I can't believe I'm feeding my pies to a drug addict. Drug addict? <laughs> You're a pie pusher. You push pies to get love. Give it, Peter. <laughs> that thing you said about Worrying about me? Something my dad always said. I demand to be housewarmed! So, don't say that after you kissed him. Uh, little <laughs> make out 101, less dad talk, and uh, you could ease up on the bubblegum lip gloss. Oh my god, he looks hilarious. I wonder what happened in all those other timelines. Think you should. The universe is an endless, raging sea of randomness. Our job isn't to fight it, but to weather it together. Annie will always be driven. Shirley will always be giving. Pierce will never apologize. Britta's sort of a wild card from my perspective. And Jeff will forever remain a conniving son of a bitch. Love it. There are six sides to this die. Yeah, and I just noticed. He devised that. a system by which he never has to get the pizza. Ah, Jeff. Oh, really? Empty <laughs> jackrabbit. Dang, man. What do you love? <laughs> I think we just found our pizza getter. Yeah, yeah. 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 we did. We did. We did. Oh, like it matters who goes. <laughs> <laughs> the universe has spoken. <laughs> that guy sucks harder than the toilet in an airplane bathroom. Airplane bathroom. <laughs> oh, my pie. Oh, uh, don't let him finish Ross, that story. Oh! You, you don't, don't have to punch. She got it! <laughs> Aw, this is cute. I'm a little bit afraid that it's going to be hard to get past copyright on YouTube because this song plays like the entire episode. But if you're seeing it, I guess I did it. <laughs> See how much more fun things are when Jeff is out of the room? <laughs> Shirley, don't you think you've had enough? Uh, does Britta have blue hair in her hair? Okay. This is the darkest, most terrible timeline. Enough with the timeline crap, Abed! <laughs> Pierce got shot in the leg and died. Shirley's a drunk. Annie's <laughs> locked in a mental ward because her guilt drove her insane. Jeff lost an arm in the fire. Troy lost his arm. <laughs> <laughs> Wash away blue streak in your hair, and I lost an arm. Exactly. <laughs> what is this? What? Of all the timelines, this is clearly the darkest, which is why I propose we commit to being evil. I've made us all black goatees out of felt. I suggest you put them on until you're able to grow your own. <laughs> From now yes. on, I'm evil Abed. Evil Abed. <laughs> As evil Jeff. Am I allowed to pull fewer punches with you? Certainly. I hate you! <laughs> Shut up with your sci fi crap! I lost my damn arm, and you're making fake beards! Goatees. <laughs> Evil Troy and evil Abed. <laughs> oh my god. I guess nothing. <laughs> All right, I was about to say, I was like, okay, I assume that that's not actually the timeline that we're in. So I don't exactly know which timeline to take its canon, but I guess none of them 
I think that I'm just supposed to take from that final scene that they just like forego a housewarming. <laughs> that was a really, really, really fun episode. I feel like I should have seen the meme coming because obviously that meme with Troy with the pizza boxes and everything's just going fucking insane. It's just like a cultural mainstay at this point. I think that we all know it, regardless of how familiar you are with community. And so when I saw the way that the events of the episode were going, I really should have seen that coming, but I didn't. Uh, this was a really fun episode. It's a really great episode to get back into community with you guys. Um, I was a little bit worried, honestly, that I was gonna... It was going to take me a few recording sessions to feel back to it, but I really feel like this episode helped, like, helped bring me back into it really naturally. So I had a lot of fun with this one. I hope you guys had fun watching it. And now let's get into the next one. Remember, you guys can have dip too, and don't be afraid to play with the rubber spider. I was to say Halloween episode. I don't understand. We're having a party before we're going to the real party. Sometimes I think hey. you young people are just making this crap up. It's a pre-party. Mm -hmm. It's informal, intimate, and just for us. And I told you guys you didn't have to dress up. Oh, we were wearing this when you called. Yeah, when we dress up, you'll know it. <laughs> There's nothing in your- Their friendship is truly goals. Okay, let's make this quick. I got three more polite appearances to make tonight. <laughs> I'm one of the Fast and Furious guys. Which one? Oh, I don't know. I don't watch that shallow crap. I just pick a costume <laughs> girls are like. Oh, Jeff, never change. Remember last week when I made you guys fill out those anonymous personality tests for my psych class? Uh, listen, if you drop- I remember. One of our friends is deeply disturbed. Trick or Dean. <laughs> That's a nice outfit. I had the lights rigged to flicker because it's Halloween. It's been happening for a week. Halloween week. <laughs> so the lights will work on November 1st? All Saints Day. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were about to get ridiculous? Look, one of the tests came back with 70 out of 75 red flags for an extreme personality okay, well, disorder. Extreme, Jeff. Like a Dorito? I feel like the obvious answer would be Pierce, but I feel like it's not going to be Pierce. Homicidal tendencies. Oh. <laughs> you probably just britted the test results somehow. No, I double checked them. Wait, are people using my name to mean make a small mistake? <laughs> probably not small. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, Shirley's dancing. I'm into it. Go to the dance. I heard the dean's got free taco meat from the army. We can go. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> that was a mess last year. I'll start with a story about a horrible fate befalling innocent people, and then I'm curious to get individual reactions. <laughs> In the news tonight, top story: an escaped convict from the asylum has escaped, and he's mental, and he's on the loose and stuff. <laughs> Fine, I'll get out and look. But then I'm entitled to sex. Ooh. 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 I'm getting stabbed with this hook hand thing. <laughs> oh my god! How did that story make you feel? Embarrassed? That's an odd reaction. Yeah. Wait, did she not? Okay, I guess we don't know. She doesn't know who has homicidal tendencies. Do you believe because he was stupid, he deserved to die? What the hell kind of party is this? <laughs> Your story's not scary because the characters are making choices the audience wouldn't make. Plus, you need a smarter mm. lead. Here, like this. It's a dark, cold night in the woods. I just brushed my teeth, so this would be the optimal time to kiss. <laughs> Enjoyable, soft lips, just the right level of moisture. Would you like to do it again? No. <laughs> I hope you're as fertile as I am tonight. More. <laughs> Britta and Abed would be such an odd couple. <laughs> hey, Bed. You wouldn't turn the radio on at the exact moment of the most pertinent news broadcast. It's too coincidental. 
but I'll jump forward in time. He has a point. We should call 911 on my fully charged cell phone, lock the doors, and then stand back to back in the middle of the room holding knives. Uh... I love you. Shh. <laughs> die or what? <laughs> you want to hear a scary story? I've got a scary story. I must retrieve my books from the debris tomorrow. I'm oh, a he's school a vampire. Teacher. Many children rely on me to educate. Oh. Be gone, innocent one. You may choose not to believe in them, <laughs> but I am a monster. <laughs> I believe it. Oh. Do not judge me for my weakness. Stifle your slack and maw, you drain and tainted bitch dog. <gasps> I'm fine with this. <laughs> Teach me to read. No, Annie. <laughs> no. Uh, that truly is probably all it would take to. No. Resist <sighs> your craving. Just pick up a good book. And read. <laughs> Too appetizing. Unfortunate for you. Oh. You see, some monsters cannot change. Oh, did her eye color just change? I'm a werewolf that feeds on selfish vampires. Oh, oh. Whoa. Then she flossed her teeth with his tendons. And because he was a vampire, he lived <laughs> through all of it. He had to watch her swallow his last eye. Is it gonna be Annie who has the murderous tendencies or whatever? In her stomach. She came up with that on the fly and it's, it's a bit suspicious. <laughs> See, there was a twist. <laughs> Why does Annie get to be good at everything? You just want to hear a real, legit, scary story? Let's do it. Hello? Is there anyone here? <laughs> I 15 went down in the woods. Oh, I thought I heard something awesome out there. Awesome? What's going on? This cabin is my lab where I do weird oh. experiments on people. <laughs> no! Ew! Ew! <laughs> I don't like that. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're psychic now. We can destroy him with mind powers. Oh my god. I just, I hate the way that looks. They're like stitching together. <laughs> you tried to destroy us. But you only made us more awesome. <laughs> no, I'm legit jealous. We sewed your butt to your chest. No! <laughs> ah, you fools. By sewing my butt to my chest, you've given me boobs I can touch all day. Yeah, but With once you what? have them... To... <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Uh... no! I was about to say, once you have boobs, like the appeal of touching them all day is just not there. <laughs> what did I do to deserve that? Keep me out of your stupid stories. I didn't uh, say it was you. I said he was a crazy old racist doctor. Yeah, and I'm your crazy old racist friend. <sighs> In a moment, girls, I'm just enjoying expensive <laughs> post-coital brandy. <laughs> yo, 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 yo! Of course. <laughs> of course. That's right, Honker. You take it real easy and give us all your expensive brandy and hubcaps. Does he have a fucking pacifier on <laughs> He does. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, I'm ready for my birthday spanking. Which of you girls knows how to count to 30? <laughs> what in the hell was that? That wasn't even a ghost story. It was like an episode of some show we're all too young to have heard of. Fine, then I chopped up both your bodies. So that was us. Once upon a time. <laughs> Who's got more? Uh -huh. Weed. Here you go, baby. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't care. 
care. I lived in New York. <laughs> oh, dang. All the good Christians got raptured up to heaven, so if you're hearing this, the good news is, you're the coolest people in the world. The bad news is, the world is over. This is NPR. Oh, man. I love the Dean and all his outfits. Oh, they give me life. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's our friend we used to pick on for being Christian. <laughs> Thank you for saving us, Shirley. I mean, your name's not Shirley. This is a story about strangers. Any fool, can you take us to heaven now, please? I just came to say goodbye on my way to Abraham's bosom. Bye. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> Gay marriage. <laughs> and he chainsawed in the bits. That wasn't a horror story. That was a sermon. You ruined a Brita party. That's like letting <laughs> spoil. Those psych tests I made you take came back. Turns out one of you is probably a homicidal maniac. That's stupid. I <laughs> if we leave here now, do you know what might happen? Monkey bone uh, is good, but monkey bone too. Not a way to eat strawberries. Oh. 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 <laughs> Britta, what are you describing? What? Who has those images <laughs> like that in their head? Probably the same kind of person that would make us tell ghost stories in order to secretly study our minds. I'm just worried that one of you... One of us? <laughs> you took that test too. Oh my god, could you imagine having Britta as a therapist? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! We're getting freaked out because it's Halloween. We just need to settle down. <laughs> Kill you! Oh! oh. Kill you! <laughs> Anyone here could be a psycho oh thinking God, that Wolverine is what psycho. Pencils. Here, I have a story that I think. Oh, so like. good. Tell us why you kill people. Fear? It would be Chang. It would be Chang. Let's be real. Somebody please give me a hug. Why are you always so determined to have us relax and put down our weapons? Maybe he's a remorseless <laughs> madman with no empathy who eludes detection by manipulating others. Yeah, Jeff. Maybe we <laughs> Not Jeff being the sane one for once. Maybe we should go through your test answers one by one. That doesn't matter. I filled mine out randomly. No, 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 I'm no sociopath. I always know what I'm doing is wrong. I'm <laughs> At least he knows it. At least he's self-aware. That makes me the sanest person here. Boo! Honestly, oh, no. for some is this your odd what? reason, How should I know? It's just a bunch of bubbles. He is. It's crazy. Never thought that I would say that about Jeff, but did she put them in the Britta, way? Look at the arrow. You ran these through the machine upside down. Ugh. She braided it. Britta. <laughs> Whatever. I'll run them through again. And you guys are gonna stop using my name to mean making a tiny and understandable mistake. So we're all insane. Well, except for this person. Is that one mine? We should probably. Why didn't you put your names on them? We learned an important lesson tonight. We should never make the Brita of Brita-ing each other's feelings. You're using it wrong. Wow, you Brita to Brita. Yeah, way to pull an Abed. I don't get it. Shirley, don't pierce. <laughs> I don't get it. That does make the most sense. <laughs> it's been three days. Oh, uh, this is actually When are you going to let me go? Should we let him go? Hmm. Let me think. Nah. More brandy? <laughs> don't mind if I do. Troy and Abbott sung together! <laughs> uh, I feel like the show always has really fun um, Halloween episodes. Season one was like the Day of the Dead one. And season two was the one where Shirley and Chang hooked up. I think out of all of the Halloween episodes, season two's was probably my favorite. Just because 
Shirley and Chang hooking up was like a game changer for me and it changed the trajectory of the entire season and yeah it was just a lot of fun um this one was also fun I'm just saying I think that I liked season two a little bit better I had fun with this episode but I will say that it would have been nice if two like what if episodes weren't back to back you know like I feel like if I had a different episode to break up the two that I just watched, um, that probably would have been better because even though this show is mostly like about the gag of it all, you know, they're mostly about the jokes and plot is definitely secondary. I still do like to see the plot forward itself in little subtle ways. And so um, I don't think that we got a lot of that the last two episodes since we spent so much of the time just in fantasy land I guess but I still had fun with it and I'm just so 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 happy to be watching community with you guys again Ugh, I'm so happy to be here again but anyways guys I'm gonna cut this episode here so I can get into the next two episodes thank you guys so so much for watching these with me and I will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>